Okay, hey guys, it's Unix Designs over here. Uh, yep, this is my first video with a voice. So, say hello to my little voice and uh, yeah, let's get going. So, today I've created a template, a retro style template. Uh, let's see how it looks. Bam, 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 bam. Looks pretty nice. There's a few things you can change. So, first thing is the logo in the center. So let's change that. First, let's import the logo. So right click on the uh, project window, import file, and I'm gonna import a uh, logo. Open, merge layers, okay. Okay, I will navigate to the uh, main, main composition. After our logo has been imported, uh, I'm gonna Select the fifteenth layer, right, which, which is right over here. Uh, drag while holding Alt on your keyboard. Drag, drag over this this layer, and it will well, it should replace it. Now, go to the Effect Controls window, and in there you can see that I've applied the Curves effect to it. You can shut that down and uh, scale down the uh, the logo. Make sure it's centered. So let's see. Well, let's see how it does. Nineteen. Yep. Okay. Pretty good. Now. Don't forget to move the anchor point to the center. Anchor point is this uh, cross here right here. Uh, if you want to move it, just use the pen behind tool and uh, yeah, move it just to the center. If you don't the see the center guidelines, click on this box right here and uh, enable the title slash action 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 save and uh, basically center it. work good basically that's it you can if you want you can change the, uh, the the color which is in the ring hue control layer now there are some rings at the end of the uh, of the intro as you can see here so to change the color of those you need to navigate to the uh, layer independently select it and there will be a hue slash saturation effect applied and uh, you can change the hue or since it's white it doesn't have any color information so you need to colorize it uh, you can change the hue drop the lightness down first and the saturation so after that's done the only only thing you need to change is the, is the background so we'll go to the background composition and there, you can change the uh, the background. So, I've made the five layers, which have the uh, background. So the first layer is black. The second one is white. The third one is beige color. The, th the fourth one is green. And the fifth one is blue. I think the uh, white version will do good. Yeah, and uh, finally let's go to the render composition, and uh, yeah, basically let's render this thing out. So go to composition, make movie, uh, go to the out output module. Now you can use whatever settings you want, but I use QuickTime movie. Then I go to the format options, uh, H, H.264 for a codec, quality to 100, keyframe every 4 frames, don't limit the data rate, click OK, uh, OK, save it to my desktop, let's call it Retro Intro, save it and click render. So this is my uh, project file, I hope you enjoy it. This is Unix Designs, 
Signing out.